Hello from the apartment. So it's been a while since, okay, so I've had this logo for the longest time, but it always covers up my face, so I think it's about time to get rid of that and maybe start using a new logo. I think that looks pretty good. I'm not gonna do an apartment vlog today, but I wanted to start the video in the apartment today because I wanted to show off something kind of fun that I recently got. And what that is, is this. I got a new camera. This is a Canon M50. I currently use a Canon G7X Mark II. I've been wanting a mirrorless camera, which is what this is for a long time. I've been wanting to have interchangeable lenses where I can play around with apertures and focal lengths and, and those sort of attributes. This has a viewfinder that pops out of the side instead of on top of the camera, which is what the G7X Mark II does. And if you have a dead cat wind muff for the internal microphone for the camera, then it blocks the view. So this is going to be great to be able to put a microphone potentially on top of the camera and have that view not be obstructed. This has the capability of being able to put a microphone on the camera. The G7X Mark II does not. The G7X Mark II has everything that you really want in a camera. It's a very small, compact point and shoot camera. That's again, what I currently use. This is a little bit bigger and bulkier and I'm gonna show you what I, what I got along with it as um, an additive, I suppose. I'll show you that in just a second. But so I'm gonna keep the G7X Mark II. I'm pretty positive so I can kind of have it just in case for, for um, certain situations. But as far as just having this camera, I am very, very excited for it. And let me show you what I got. As well. So I mentioned that one of my favorite attributes of this camera is the interchangeability opportunities of the lens specifically. It's about to get a little bit tech talky, so prepare yourselves. So this is the kit lens that came with the camera. This is a 15 to 45 millimeter focal length lens with a 3.5 maximum aperture. So the focal length is essentially how much can fit into this shot, how much it can zoom in or out, and then the aperture is how much light is being let into the camera. So that is very good for a kit lens, but as an accessory, I got this right here. This is a Sigma lens that is compatible with Canon. And this has a fixed focal length of 16 millimeters with a 1.4 maximum aperture. Now that is actually very, very good. And compared to my Canon G7X Mark II, which has a focal length of 24 to 100 millimeters and then a maximum aperture of, I believe it's 1.8. This is actually really good. This is still fantastic for a kit lens and it's a lot lighter. This is very big and very heavy, but from what I've seen of this, the depth of field, it is beautiful and incredible. And this paired with this camera specifically seems like an incredible combination, but this is still a really good lens. So I have a lot going on here in terms of my, my cameras. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and then see what it looks like. Okay, I am off of the Canon G7X Mark II and I am currently using the Canon M50 with the kit lens, which does have image stabilization as does the Canon G7X Mark II, the Sigma lens does not, this is a lot heavier than the G7X Mark II. You can see the little mic muff on top of there because I can only exclusively use the internal microphone with this camera, but with the Canon M50, I'll be able to plug in an external microphone. Oh man, it's so awkward just to look over here at myself on the side. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the Sigma lens and see if that makes any kind of a difference. Okay, so this is the Sigma lens with the Canon M50. I'm not really seeing much of a difference other than kind of a more blurry background here. I do know that this is very good with focusing or it's supposed to be more or less. I haven't changed any settings about the lens or about the camera itself other than shooting in 60 frames a second. So this is going to take a little bit to get used to and modify it to my particular personal settings. But I am pretty excited about this. The reviews specifically with this lens, with this camera, really were through the roof. And that's why I got this combination of the lens with the camera. It's very heavy, so I'm gonna have to really kind of get used to that for sure. So I'm back on the Canon G7X Mark II and I wanted to show off the status of the plants on the balcony. They are growing incredibly well, as well as this little guy. Hi, Arlo. He's about six months old and he is just doing so good. I'm so proud of him. I also wanted to talk about another attribute about this camera that I think is kind of cool. It has a viewfinder that actually shuts inside of the camera, the G7X Mark II. The viewfinder is consistently out and consistently on, so rides like Haunted Mansion or watching the fireworks at Disney, it's hard to do that discreetly. So with this, I can shut this inside the camera and I can look through the viewfinder and see what I'm recording, which is super cool, right? Pup. All right. So I'm excited to really play around with this and get the performance that I anticipate out of this and the experience that I hope to have with this camera, with this lens. It's gonna be a lot to get used to without a doubt, but I think it'll really vastly improve the quality of videos that I make and it'll encourage me and inspire me to try to spend more time 
and creativity with videos, so I'm excited for the journey that this is gonna take me on, and I hope you are too. And there we go. I just made a new video, Arlo, about my brand new camera. Isn't that exciting? Maybe not. Oh, no, I forgot to mention that I got a new microphone for it too, but I don't even know if I'm gonna use this or not, but I guess we'll see. I was a little bit worried about how tech talky it was because people don't generally like the camera talk. You don't either, I guess. Makes sense, okay. I should probably be honest though with myself because I am not gonna be using this to film any nighttime spectaculars for a while because fireworks are canceled indefinitely, which is a bummer. Roy, it's me, Roy from the past. What, what, how? Time travel, I'm confused. Aren't we always? What are you doing here? Future Roy came back to my present, your past, and gave me these. A glow wand, Mickey ears, and a light sword. Yeah, what else would I give me? Again, confused. I gave me, us, the tools for time travel. Light up toys? Yeah, I don't know, but it works. You just have to make sure that the batteries are in, double A's, make sure that the lights are on, and then say where you want to go, and then go, <laughs> that sounds ridiculous. I mean, I'm here, aren't I? Okay, fair point, but why would he, I give them to you, me, to give to me, me, I'm confusing myself. Why would future Roy give them to past Roy to give them to present Roy? Well, I am still in quarantine, so I probably needed them the most. I've been going a little bit stir crazy, but I brought them to the future, your present, so that you could use them too. If you used them and I'm the future you, then why don't I remember any of this? We're creating a new timeline tangent. Future Roy came to the past, I came to the present, and then you're gonna end up in the future, it all makes sense. It makes zero sense. I know, like dangerously paradoxical. Just don't think about it too much. Think about the opportunities that you have to relive experiences and revisit places that you never can again. I guess it could be cool to see some old Disney fireworks shows again or something. Okay, well, I went back to witness the Declaration of Independence being signed and then I went forward to watch the Mars space shuttle launch, but your idea is great too, so here you go. Thank you, thank me, I guess. Is there anything else that I should know? Yes, you should have kept the beard. It works. Yeah, I know. I guess now I have to get rid of this to fit into this timeline. Of course. All right, so let's do this. Walt Disney World, May 11th, 2017, the final night of wishes. <laughs> Am I the Polynesian right now? This... No way. <laughs> It's the Blue Fairy, that's Wishes, we we did it, it worked. Oh my god, we, we need to go watch that right now. I forgot how incredible the nighttime spectacular wishes was. I can't believe that this actually worked and the Bay Street Electric Parade is going by. This is so cool. Ooh, I wanna go somewhere else. And there we go. I always say to keep a spare Disney shirt in your back pocket because you never know when you're gonna need it. But this has not even been announced yet, so I should probably go ahead and go. So I'm gonna say Epcot, September 30th, 2019, the final night of Illuminations Reflections of Earth. <laughs> Just illuminations. Wow! Wishes, illuminations, the Main Street Electrical Parade, the Fountain of Nations. I've gotten to see everything that I miss so much, and I'm so happy. But I guess it's time to go back to the. Present? Was I supposed to go to the present? No, past came to the present, future went to the past. I'm supposed to go to the future? How am I supposed to know where to- Where am I? Am I stuck here? Is this the future? All right, and I think that that looks about right. The hair looks good, the beard is gone. Oh, I'm gonna miss that beard, I looked so good. Okay, so now I have to try to fit into this timeline without seemingly skipping a beat. Yes, Roy's vlogging camera. I can just go through the files and see what he's been up to. Okay, it looks like he got a new vlogging camera. I've been wanting a new vlogging camera for so long. With a new lens. I'm so jealous. Okay, going back a little bit further, looks like he has a new intro. Well, that was long overdue. I'm surprised it took him this long. Honestly, the old one got in my face all the time. And it looks like there's some files here for a new outro. I made a new outro? Neat. 
I've been wanting a new outro for quite a little bit. I wonder if he's going to use the same song. I guess I can check on his computer if there's any new material there at the end, but yeah, I could fit into this just fine. All right. Hello! Again, it's, it's me. It's still me, the same me from the beginning of this video, because why wouldn't it be? I just changed shirts because I like to do that. Sometimes I'm allowed to change shirts. I wanted to fill you in on a couple apartment updates around the apartment because I may or may not have done that in a while and there's a few new, I think, things to show off to you and there's something really cute over here. All three animals are enjoying each other's company. We have Arlo and Calvin and Farley and their respective little beds over here by the couch, which have been here just the whole time, without a doubt, for sure. And this is new as well, probably. Got a couple of photo montages on the wall here. It looks like this one is all of the pets. Of course, I knew that. Look at that, got little baby animals there. And then the adult animals right here. Go on with friends and family in the parks right there. And then this looks like just me and Brennan. Look at that, it looks like there's a picture for every single year that we've been together, including this one, because we can go back to the parks now while wearing masks. That is definitely happening, without a doubt, for sure. And anything else that's new, right? These bookshelves look new, but I probably showed you those already, without a doubt, I think. Yep, because I'm totally from this time period. Uh, this is also here, and it's, it's new. Right, but there is something on the computer that I know is definitely new that I want to show you. So as I'm sure you are probably very well aware, I've had the same outro for about two and a half years with the Dancing Roys as well as the percussion background music for almost the duration of that time. I've decided to go ahead and change that outro a little bit. It looks like I have a file here that I've totally been working on this entire time and it's not going to be a surprise for me whatsoever to listen to this right now, but let's see what this first track sounds like. Okay, so that sounds like a bass track, I suppose. So let's see if I can add on a couple other here. Let's see what this sounds like. Okay, so that's just some fun additive music, I suppose, to play along with that. Let's see if I can find a melody. This looks like a melody here, more or less. Okay, that was fun. Now I wonder if there's like a call and response sort of an aspect here. Let's see, let's see what this is. Okay, neat. Now let's see, there should be a track here, which is probably, which is definitely this one because I already know this, right? <laughs> that would probably fill in the gaps in between this call and response section here, let's see. Well, that was neat. That was pretty fun, I like that. That's very poppy and energetic. Of course I like it because I did it, right? Let's see if I can add on a few more tracks down here and let's just see what the combined sound is. That was great. Go me. I'm just so creative, aren't I? Looks like there's a few other tracks here which I could probably play in a little bit, see what that sounds like. And oh, here's the percussion outro that's all muted. So I imagine, oh, well, definitely, right? That this should probably go along with that percussion outro. So there it is. There's a song, and I imagine that, yes, it looks like there's an Adobe After Effects file open. So I, I've been working on a, an outro visually to go along with this. And I don't know how you can beat four Dancing Roys, but it looks like I have a new outro in the works. All right, well that was probably, hopefully, the last update that I needed to include in this video. I hope this wasn't too terribly confusing to watch, but then why would it be? Because this was a completely normal video, right? Nothing weird or abnormal about it at all. I am very excited to start utilizing my Canon M50. That's the name of this camera. I didn't have to look at that at all, but hopefully once I start doing some more exciting different kinds of videos to warrant the use of a big camera like this, but that should be exciting. Hopefully something like that comes along in the future, but I will see you later. Sorry, one second, I just got an email. Ooh, it's a confirmation email for a 
Disney resorts? What?